Hello again gamers, we're coming back with another title from Sometimes You. This one is a Switch exclusive, it's called Spiral Splatter. So, Spiral Splatter was released on the Switch on the 13th of March. Um, I'm just going to read you a bit of the blurb before we get started. So it's a brain-bending arcade puzzle game that will push your hand-eye coordination to the limit with non-stop mind-boggling puzzles. Already thinking this isn't going to be my cup of tea, but there we go. Uh, put your problem-solving skills to the test as you navigate over 100 levels and 11 different stages full of perplexing puzzles. Watch out for moving obstacles as you manoeuvre through each level. Think fast. If you're too slow, the ghost may catch up to you. Hustle to reach the finish before your time's up. Each stage of gameplay adds a new challenge with an ever-increasing difficulty. Don't be fooled by appearances. Spiral Splatter will stump even the most adept puzzle game aficionado. So stay calm. Relax and see if you can take on Spiral Splatter. Main features, over 100 levels of gameplay, 11 unique stages with a new challenge on each one, colourful and clean graphics and challenging gameplay. So anybody that's watched me on a uh, puzzle game before will know <laughs> how I deal with puzzle games. But here we go. So A to speed boost, B to pause and left stick to move the ball and X to reset. Okay, so let's give the first level a try. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's good. Second level already knackered. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Um... It's one of those buzzy games. Uh, oh, oh, God. This is not... <laughs> hey, it's stage two. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so if we go... Ooh, what puzzle? Okay. So the graphical style... is very, very simplistic. For an indie title, but... I'm enjoying it! Although, yeah, I don't want to go too quickly. Oh, I'm only getting two stars already. Focus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so at least this is a puzzle game that I'm not just like full of, oh my god, one star. I'm not fully raging at straight away. That, that's a good sign. Oh, uh, I keep looking at the target and thinking that's the start point. Come on. There we go. Oh, this one's nasty. This is nasty. Got it. So yeah, it's very sort of similar, you know those, oh god, those puzzles that you play where you're guiding like a metal pole hoop down a rail and it goes bzzz if you uh, cock it. It's, it's very much like that. Very much like that. But it's just a case of getting a feel for your actual switch controllers, isn't it? There we go. Oh, there we go again. It's clearly called... Oh, it's clearly called Splatter. <laughs> I'll get my words out in a minute. Because of the uh, paint splots every time you fail. Oh. Oh, that's depressing. That was a game over right there. Let's try again. Oh, shit. There we go, two start at that time. What? Oh, <laughs> tried to be cocky at the end there and fucked it. <laughs> so it, it's, it's good fun. It's very good fun, you know. Oh, when you die, resets the switches. 
Oh no! That sucks! That fully sucks! That is harsh. Oh, oh, okay, so you can't go back the way you came. So it's frustrating. Mainly down to the fact that I can't guide for shit. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I'm glad it's not shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad it's not shit. Um, I'm glad it's not motion controlled because that would be an absolute shite mare. Oh, this one's really evil. That one was evil. This is not playing the game. Oh, oh, you cheeky sh... There we go, and still managed to two-star it. <laughs> so for a quick hands-on, he's got just the right level of... Like, I'm quite tired after a long day sat in front of Excel, if I'm honest, and I've just finished editing the chart posts that I put on my blog. So, my eyes are... Sh my eyes are shattered, but that's no excuse for me being really terrible at this. I'm just not very good at angling my joystick, obviously. Around and oh, 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 no! Come on, that was unfair. That was fucking unfair. <laughs> what the f Okay. Try not to fuck up this time. Really? Now I'm starting to get frustrated with myself. Why did I press dash? That was not a clever idea. And up and down and... Yes! Still got a single star. I'm happy with that. Oh god. Hey, this one looks vaguely camel-like. I'm not going to segue into advertising my Hail the Camel t-shirts there at all. Cough, cough. Link in description. Cough, cough. More one for the folks that follow my uh, Zelda streams. Ah, shit. Fuck! <laughs> the thing is, I'm still determined to carry on. Which is very, very rare for me in a puzzle game. Once I start to suck, I pretty much give in. But I still do start that one. That's cool. Oh, balls. Ooh, this one's going to be mean. Okay, and then I'm going to get that one. To what? To what? 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 What's going on? Okay, and then... Oh, th this one. This one's thrown me. Because I... Right. Right. Oh, sugar. See, that kills that one. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, no, you need to hit that one. Because you've got to click that. Then you can't get back round there. So you hit that one. Oh, that this one. This one is crafty. This. Oh, Jesus. This one is evil. Hey, there we go. F fucking. I could just see me clipping the edge of it there and stacking that one. Do 
so yeah, puzzle games. Fuck, puzzle games aren't really my thing, as you can see. I'm not very good at them. Um, but for anybody that likes those sort of try not to die puzzles like this, oh fuck. <laughs> then it, oh, there we go. Um, you might find it entertaining. I mean, I'm not. Like I say, I'm not a fan of this style of game, normally, but I'm still playing it. You know, we are 10 minutes in and I'm still going. Which, for me, on a game as awkward as this... Ah, fuck it. Never mind. Um, yeah, on a game as awkward as this is a bit of a rarity. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we can turn the collision warning off, turn the music off, turn the effects off. But it's got quite nice sort of calming, soothing music, which is nice. It is a standard title from Sometimes You in the sense that it's very calm, very peaceful. The art style is quite simple but effective. You know, I never say that the art style for a Sometimes You title is simple and basic. Um, you know, it, it's something you could easily emulate, I imagine, but that's the beauty of it. Anyway, that's me done on this one, gang. You know where the comments box is if you want to let me know what you think. You know how to get hold of me if you want to let me know what you think of the game. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you pick up a copy of it anyway. It is available, there is a demo, I believe, on the Switch. Um, and like most Sometimes You titles, it's going to quite low cost. So if I can get the best part of 10 minutes out of it, somebody who's a bit more sort of, you know, that way frame of mind might enjoy it a lot more. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gang, and I will see you all again soon.